you engage with the blood number two you engage with the word the second weapon of victory that has been given to us is the word john 1 1 in the beginning was the word the word was with god and the word was god verse 2 says the same was in the beginning with god three says that all things were made by him and without him that means outside of his influence and participation was not anything made don't expect anything to be made in your life if the word is not part of the equation that leads to it without him was not anything made that was made the power of the word you have to know how to bring the word you have to know how to engage the word many people do not know how to engage the word and then number three of course very quickly is the power of the name John 14 12 to 14 the power of the blood the power of the word and the power that backs that office the name I say unto you verily verily he says I say unto you he that believeth on me the works that I shall do he shall do also greater works than this shall he do because I go to my father and whatsoever ye shall ask not just according to your desire there is an office you shall ask in my name make sure your asking is in my name asking in my name does not just mean to say in Jesus name saying in Jesus name is just a spiritual and psychological way of reminding you that the owner of that name is Jesus but the name is not Jesus the name that really brings the answer is not Jesus Jesus is the name of the owner of that office the Bible says wherefore God had so highly exalted him and given him a name so that was not the name Jesus was given to him when he was born the name is not even Jesus Jesus is the name you see there are footballers today who are called Jesus is that true there are Mexicans who are called Jesus I'm not saying Jesus is wrong I hope you understand now this is a believers meeting there is a name an office that was given to him and according to Philippians chapter 2 from verse 5 the Bible says to permit this mind to be in you which was also in Christ Jesus it now begins to give you the entire exegesis of his journey from heaven considering himself to be equal with God not robbery but that he stripped himself of that authority and that ranking and he made himself of no reputation took upon him the form of a servant and he was made in the likeness of man eight being found in the fashion of man the Bible says he humbled himself and became obedient unto death even the death on the cross it says wherefore God had so highly exalted him and gave him a name and that that name is above every other name what is the character of that name 10 that at the name of Jesus he didn't say the mention of it you see the mention of it is not wrong but the revelation the consciousness of that name every knee should bow of things in heaven earth and under the earth and then he says 11 now every tongue should confess that that Jesus who became the Christ when he met the Holy Spirit has now received the name called Lord that's the name the name is Lord when Peter was preaching in the day of Pentecost remember how he wrapped up his sermon he said that same Jesus who you have crucified has now been made Lord and Christ that was the end of his sermon and the Bible says they were caught to the heart and they said men and brethren what do we do he said repent Lord means absolute owner you are given an office you see how the psalmist saw it in Psalm 24 the earth is the there are four things that you must have to be ruler number one the earth give us Psalm 24 and verse 1 as we pray number two 
the fullness the resources number three the mind control system number four the inhabitants anybody that captures this has exerted dominion over the territory and the bible says every of those four belong to him the earth the natural expanse of land number two the fullness the resources number three the walls the systems that control the thoughts and the behaviors of the people number four is them that dwell therein every terrorist and those who train people in terrorism this is the assignment when you come into a territory capture the earth the landmass number two capture the resources number three create a system that controls the thinking of the people and number four you will naturally bring the inhabitants these are ancient principles that were used even in modern history to enslave men so the bible says if you are truly to be lord you must have access to these four dimensions the earth the resources the mind control system and the inhabitants and jesus was given all so to come in the name of jesus means that you come with that consciousness that there is an authority and there is an office that backs me he said blessed is he who comes in the name of the lord so if i speak in the name i speak with the consciousness that everything that needs to cooperate to make my word not look like it was left alone is engaged and comes into motion so if I pray and I say in Jesus name I'm helping myself and helping those who listen to me that the Lord I am talking about is not just the landlord it's not just the one in court I'm talking about Jesus who is Lord when you walk in the consciousness of the Lordship of Jesus then you can command authority over principalities and powers hallelujah because true spiritual power is tested in this one litmus test you say it and see it if you cannot say it and see it it is not power genesis chapter 1 from verse 1 to 4 this is the ultimate test for genuine spiritual power and authority he created the heavens and the earth he says the earth was dark and void formless is a hebrew word tohu wa bohu confusion and chaos verse 3 and god said light be and there was light and god said light be and there was light verse 4 and god saw the light that it was good so if you tell me you have spiritual power i don't need to doubt you just speak if you say it and it happens and what happens is good and you can see it you are walking in power remember the centurion when he was talking with jesus he said i am a man under authority i understand power i say unto one go and he goes because of the government and the name that backs me so you too jesus i discern that you are not on your own and jesus said who taught you where did you learn this lecture from he marveled at his insight believers we were not left alone we may look weak but there is an office that jealously defends us it is a name we have been given so god sent you to lagos and you say god but you didn't give me money check well he gave you a name go with it you packed your bags and left the name carry the name and watch the wonder walking power he sent them two by two and he said go in my name and they returned and said ah even the demons were subject to us through thy name he said that's it you got it thy name we excel in ministry through his name we excel in life and destiny through his name oh warm jacob you are not alone there is a name that defends you many of you even from an earthly standpoint you can use the name of your pastor your man of god and there are doors that can open in this church if you are seated at the back 
and your pastor sends and says pick somebody from outside and come and keep him here whether you like the person or not is not the issue there is a name that you must honor and you can frown at the person while you still obey so when we make decrees in the name we don't need to have a relationship with the situation and circumstance they have to obey it is true let me five minutes and let's pray stand up on your feet